25 years, a quarter of a century, two and a half decades. That's how long the St. Cloud State women's hockey team has been in existence. However, even the women on today's team didn't have a typical start playing hockey. Actually, I grew up playing with the boys for 10 years, um, so it was not well known at all. There was um, no girls team where I grew up, and so I actually had to move away when I was 14 to play. Doing that, like I kind of had to grow up pretty fast. I was 14, I was playing with grown-up women. I started playing hockey, we had about 3,000 uh, female hockey players in uh, the whole country, and I think we got it up to 5,500 in a uh, 10-year period of time, so it's a slow process. And playing a boys' high school team was obviously challenging. I even owned teammates, uh, had lots of teammates, you know, whether it was cheap shotting me or make sure that they completed a full hit on me uh, just because I was a girl going for their spot. Women's sports, specifically women's hockey, has definitely grown over the years. Progress that was paved by the grit, strength, and dedication from previous generations. I love to see all sports, women playing sports, growing and to be a part of that and just like the growth and opportunities for little girls all over the world. Um, it's great to see and I want to really do anything I can to help because hockey has just been everything in my life. So it was, uh, it was something special to become a, like a women's hockey player and play with a bunch of girls and uh, just uh, give them someone to look up to. Um, there's not many that do it and uh, being with your teammates through it all, it makes it a lot easier to uh, grow the game. There are 36 Division I women's programs across the country that awards nearly 1,000 women the opportunity to lace up the skates and compete in a sport they love. Overall, it definitely gives me something to dream about and just to set those goals. And so having the competitive atmosphere to really to focus that drive and uh, work hard at something every single day is, has been super awesome. It's been really cool to be part of a generation, you know, that's kind of like advocated uh, for women in sports and just really to get the word out there, you know, that women are important in the game and um, just see how much it's grown. Of the 36 collegiate teams, nearly half are led by female head coaches, and a majority of the ones led by men have strong women assistant coaches like Mira Yelashuo and Janelle Sergey here at St. Cloud State. Both had stellar college and international hockey experience and are poised to mentor and mold their female student athletes into great hockey players and even better people. I think it's really important. I think it's important to have women leading women, um, being mentors to them, uh, to show them that it is possible after you're done playing and when you move on to have a family that you can still be involved in the sport that, that gave us so much. Yeah, I mean, I have a younger sister who I've always tried to be a role model for and uh, all of her friends and just every girl that comes to our games. Uh, it's important to be a really good role model for them and show them what hard work is and hopefully they'll be in your spot someday. 25 years. For all of the current Huskies that have lived their entire lives knowing and dreaming about playing college hockey, ultimately striving and achieving that goal, with the direction this program is heading, perhaps the next generation can dream about winning a national championship.